hello guys and welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like this video share this video actually today this blouse is um a, a, a one cape like a one uh color blouse actually most of uh, my subscribers they actually ask for it so today i'm gonna be doing it i'm gonna be showing you how to cut it this one color blouse which is also which it also served as the christian mother blouse if you are a catholic those of you that are, that come stand to the catholic church you find out that they use it for their their christian mother is like uh, a uniform also you can also use it for your ankara styles you can use it for your lace styles you can use it for whatever styles so that's actually what i'm gonna be showing you how to cut today it's really simple and easy so as you can see i folded my my pattern paper into two this is the front and this is the back we're actually going to be folding for into two at the same for beginners most times when we're drafting blouses like this we normally leave one inch at the back for the zipper allowance of the back panel but for this this particular blouse it does not have it doesn't have a zip at the back so we're just going to be opening a little bit at the back and then it has a button at the back so there's no zipper allowance so because of that you're going to be folding your fabric into two exact measurements and for beginners as they usually don't actually know how to actually fold their fabrics so most times how you normally fold your fabric if you want to know how to fold your fabric so you don't waste your your your, your material is you take the biggest part of your measurement for a blouse is usually the bust measurement you divide it into four when you divide into four let me use like 40 as ex example for instance if the, the bust is 40 you divide 40 into four you have 10 inches when you have 10 inches you add you add like four or five between four and five yeah and five inch to it so it will not give you 15 like for beginners i usually advise you can add like five inches so with that you will never run into problem you add like five inches to that measurement to that bust measurement that you divided into four like i said if it is 40 you divide into four you have 10 then you add five to it so you have 15 so when you are folding your fabric you, you measure out when you fold into two, you measure out and make sure you have like 15 inch so the fold of your fabric will be 15 inch folded into two so that is for beginners well because this is a paper draft i'm not going to be using that measurement so i'm just doing like a rough sketch i'm just trying to explain to you so that you know how to fold your fabric so you fold your fabric my my paper is already folded i indicated some line here so this is the top this is like the the shoulder line i'll use sl for it this is like the shoulder line if you see the top i left half an inch allowance this half an inch allowance is the allowance that i'm gonna be using to sew sew this shoulder part so that is what i left here that is what i left here then for most times basic measurements normally for this kind of blouse you measure the, the chest so basic from here to this chest past most times it's usually eight inches so that is what i have here this is the chest line as we go on now the next as we go on when i make a a, a breast cut blouse you will understand what i'm trying to say but for now this is not a breast cut blouse it's just a normal flat blouse so we're not going to be needing the measurement of the the breast point or the nipple um, nipple line or the the, the bust palm so we're not going to be using it so this is just like the chest line then this is the waist measurement that is this part this is this part this is like the waist measurement that's like the middle of the the the, the navel that's that is the chest sorry that is the the, the the waistline so this is the waistline then this is the full length of the blouse this is the full length so you measure the full length of the blouse this is the full length so now i'm gonna be drafting in my measurement into it so you just watch and understand what i'm doing so the first thing i do you measure your shoulder into two you divide your shoulder into two so you, when you measure the person's shoulder you divide it into two in, in making a blouse not only blouse most dresses so for this i'm going to be using 10 inches so when you divide 10 inches in total you have five inches so you come like this and just mark five inches here like this then you use one inch as your allowance like this you just put one inch like this 
this is your shoulder line this is five inches and then one inches as your allowance then from the from the, the allowance point you take your tape like this you put it on the one inch allowance like this and then you measure you measure nine inches for your for your armhole you measure nine inches like this this is the nine inches line so i'm just going to use my ruler now to join it So this is it. This is the 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 armhole line. You can use your your French curve to to just curve out your your arm pitch properly. You just put it like this. So if you don't have a French curve, you can like I always say, you can always use your hand. You can improvise for beginners if you don't have. You just use, use, use something or just try and make a straight a very good curve then you draw it like this then for your bust measurement you bring your tape and insert your bust measurement the bust measurement that we we're talking about initially you divide the the, the bust measurement into into four you understand when you divide into four like this i'm using 34 which is when you divide 34 into when you divide 34 in order in order for you to know how to to divide if you if you are not very good with mathematics you just take your tape like this you put 34 like this if the the, the measurement you put 34 you you cross your tape like this then you come okay this is 17 this is the half of the measurement then you take it again and you put it like this again you measure like this so you see now you have like eight and a half you now put it like this You put it like this and then you mark it you mark it then you add two inches as your allowance but here i don't have enough allowance so i'll just use one inch as my allowance you have add it like this as your allowance like i told you always make sure you have excess so you don't run into problem then you come like this you just you just make a little rule down like this just slant it down and then you stop and then you come to the waistline before that you make sure that you have measured you measured the, the waist part of the, the person's waist and you also divide the waist you divide it in two. so like i said you measure the waist measurement for this i'm going to be using 28 inches when you divide 28 into four you have seven inches so you just come like this you mark seven inches like i said use two inches as your allowance but since i'm doing a draft I'll just use one inch as my allowance like this then you take you take your 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 tape like this sorry your ruler like this and connect the lines that line you just connect it to this part like this then for the the down part of your measurement like if it's a blouse always make sure you measure the down parts of the this part now this this waist part that's the middle waist part then the down waist part always make sure you measure which is like the circumference of your your blouse circumference always make sure you measure your blouse circumference which is the down part of your blouse how wide you actually want your blouse to be but since this is a blouse that you'll be tying wrapper on top at times it's usually don't it's usually not really necessary but it's still good for you to to still measure because if not it might be too tight on the person and it will become a problem so measure all right the circumference of the blouse so this one i'm just going to be using the nine inches that i have here so the next thing i'll do now is just take my my tape like this my and then just rule out like this and then just bring out my hand like this outside like this as you can see my blouse out then for the curve of my blouse but most times this, this is actually not not necessary because since you, you are going to be tying wrapper on top of it but i usually I'm, i just want to still teach you i'll just take it like this by half an inch like this here and then make a curve just make a little curve like this just make a curve like this for the down part of the blouse then i'll i'll take it like this i'll cut it out first then before i do my 
I'll cut it out, then I'll, I'll now come and slant the shoulder parts for you. So, see. So, I'll just take it like this. So, for the shoulder slant, for beginners, most times what we normally do this shoulder slant is if you don't do put if you don't slant your shoulders at the end you see your blouse the, the the shoulders will be standing like this and it will not have this perfect fit so that is why we usually slant it so you just take your tape like this and come from the armhole line and put one inch like this and you put one hole one inch like this you mark it down and then i'm supposed to cut out actually cut out the neck measurements but for this tie of the neck i'm gonna be cutting so let me use the back to to explain it to you i don't want to cut out the front part because of the neck style that i want to do so i'll use the back to slant the shoulder for you so you understand what i mean so you take your tape like this and come this is one inch like this and then you come like this and put your tape like this from where the neck measurement stops from where the neck measurement stops and then you slant out and then you slant out as time goes on you understand what i mean we well, actually don't want to cut this out because of the style the next style i want to make so this is the back piece all you have to do when you, after cutting the back you just bring it out like this and then open up like this from the middle like this just open open by three inches you open by three inches or four inches as the case may be then at the end of the day you put your button here then for the neck of this tie that i want to do so i'll set the back piece out the back is complete for this neck style that i want to do you i'll take you take your tape like this the neck is actually going to be having a little a round cape here in front so i'll take my my tape like this and bring it like this i'm actually going to be using three three and half inch so I'll make I'll mark my three and a half inch like this. I'll mark my three and a half inch like I said. For if 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 I'm actually gonna be slanting, so you can just slant like this from where the neck measurement stops. You just slant it down to that one inch that I measured initially. You just slant it out like this and then cut off. But I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be doing that. So this is the three and a half inch. So I'll just make a notch here. What, why I'm doing this is because of the style that I want to cut. The style I want to achieve. That is why I'm doing this. So and, and then notch it like this. And notch like this. This is the three and a half inch. That's where the neck measurement will stop. Then this is the middle of the neck as you can see. I'll make another notch here like this. And when I'm done, I'll bring it out like this and then open. And then open up like this then open so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be giving you a rough sketch of the the neck design that i'm going to be doing the neck design is going to be like this it's going to be like this it's like a cape like this this is actually the the neck design this is actually what i want to do and with this you can you find out that the both sides they are not equal so i'm not going to be cutting it the same that is why i open it up if not on a normal day when you're cutting neck you're supposed to actually cut it the same so i'll take my tape like this now from this notch this is the notch of where the the, the neckline stops i'll take it like this and put it like this and measure i'll measure five five inches because the neck, the neck measurement is usually not very deep. I'll measure five inches. I'll make a rule like this, straight. I'll just make a rule like this. You can see it here. Then the next thing I'm gonna be doing now, from this point now, this is where the neck measurement, the five inches stop. I'm gonna be making a curve from here down to this other part. I'll make a curve down like this now. Like I said, if you don't have French curve, you can always improvise. So you just take it like this. As you can see, this is the CW neck pattern. So this is the neck. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll cut it out.
is good. This is actually the neck, the neck pattern. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be cutting a cape for this. So before then, I'll just fold like this. That showed that I did not want to slant it. So now I can now slant it. You can see my slant is already here. So I can now slant out, break out my shoulder slant. So the shoulder slant, so the shoulder is now slanted. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be making a cape for this. So for the cape, I'll just take like a rough paper. Like most times what I normally advise when doing this, always make sure you use paper to, to cut it out first before you actually put on your actual fabric. Always make use of paper. You just take your paper like this. You just take a big paper like this and place behind this one. You just place it like this. You can use pins to secure it if you don't want it to move. You can just use pins to secure it like this. You can use pins, but since I'm working with paper, so I'll use cello tape. And then you cut out for you to get that cape, that CWO cape, that Christian Christian mother cape. You just put it like this, and then you cut it like this. When you get to this point, you stop. Don't cut in. And then you take this part like this. And then you pull out so after pulling out you take this part like this this armhole part on this side and then you 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 trace the armhole out like this just trace it out you are not going to be kneading or but just trace it out and then trace this part out like this you're actually not going to be kneading it but i just want you to trace it out to make it easier for you so you don't get confused you can actually cut out if you don't want to trace out. You can actually cut out from the onset. So, you just cut it out like this. So, the next thing you can see the neck measurement now. You can see why I asked you to trace, actually trace it out. This is this was why I said trace it out. That's the one of this side of, of the, the, the this left side. Trace it out. That's the curved part. Trace it out. Then you bring this one. You can see this one is here. Then you bring it like this. You can see is is the armhole is on the armhole, and then you can just cut out like this. So I'm gonna still be using my my cello tape to, to to secure it. Then the next thing I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be drawing an arc from here like this to this point, and it will come like this. So before I, you take your tape like this, your your ruler like this on this straight edge part, you measure the length, how wide you actually want your your cape to be, how wide. You actually want the cape to be so you'll be using four and a half inch here and then you draw a straight line from this neck from the straight part this straight that has been coming straight you just draw a line like this straight and then when you get to this point you stop so the next thing you're going to be doing now i'm going to be making a curve again like the curve that i made before i'll make it on this pattern again on this one so i'll just take like this Make sure it gets to the shoulder, to this shoulder, to the width of the shoulder, to the width. Let it get to the end of the width of the shoulder. You are, you, the, the, the cape is going to be running through the whole width of the shoulder. So it comes like this. So now I'll take my scissors like this. And then cut out like this. When I get to this point, I'll make it straight like this. So this is it. As you can see, this is our this is our CWO blouse. It is very simple, very easy. 
most of you that are Catholics, you understand what I'm doing. You can also use on other fabrics to make it. You usually make it with white. You can actually make it with other fabric. And at the end of the day, this is it. You can see. I just use my to secure it like this. You can see it. So now I'm just use my to secure it like I told you. So the the depth that you want actually depends on that one depends on you how wide you want it to be. It's basically between five and six inches. That's the cape. So this is it. This is the the CWO blouse, the Christian mother blouse, like they usually call it. But as you can see, it is a very beautiful style. You can use it. They even use it for for most um, other dresses, other dresses as in peplum style. You can use it. Just put a cape like this on this side. That is just basically the style of how to make this cape, how to make this one-sided cape blouse. Like I told you, this is the back with a uh, a notch at the back for the zip for the button part so as you can see now i've come to the end of this tutorial